जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरीबर धारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरीबर धारी जय जसोदनंदन भज जन रंजना जसोदनंदन भज जन रंजना जमुना तेरा बन तारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी ऐसा प्रभुपाद की जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुधर देवी की गीता जयंती महोत्सव की गौर प्रेमानंदे ओ ओ ज्ञान तिरंधस्य ज्ञानंजन सलाकया चक्षुरुन्मलित जेना तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित जैन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाम ददाति सोपदाक वंदे अहम श्रीगुर श्रीजुतापदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सग्रजात सह गण रघुनाथ नितंत सजीव साधुत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधाकृष्णपाद सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखा नितंश वंशाकलतरूभ कृपा सिंधु भैव च पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नम 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 वम विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीने नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वतीदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष सुन्नवादी पाश्चात्यशतारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गोदाधर श्रीवासादिशी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 मुकम करति बातलंग पंगुलंग है ते कृपात महंग बंदे परमानंद माधव श्री गुरु दिनतायणम श्री चैतनेश्वर सो इंग्लिश क्लास राइट एनी ट्रांसलेशन कनाडा नो नो 
ऑल अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश ओके थ्री सेंटेंस Hare Krishna. So we are very fortunate today to have received uh, His Holiness Bhakti Purushottam Maharaj to our temple. So let's warmly welcome by chanting Hare Krishna mantra. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Rama. I'll just take a minute to quickly introduce uh, Maharaj. Maharaj was born in Jagannath Puri in 1957. He became associated with this con while on his second year in college. He joined the society in 1978 and was initiated by His Holiness Jay Patak Swami the following year during Gaur Purnima festival at Sri Ram Mayapur. I speak Bengali. From then on he served in various capacities. first as sankirtan leader in kolkata then on the board preaching party in mayapur starting in 1983 he served 4 years as temple president in bhubaneswar he has also written many books like the pastimes of lord jagannath the glories and pastimes of shrimati radharani shri kshetra parikrama navadeep parikrama the final call death uh, damodar and some on bengali books for students uh personally i have re- read all these books um, these books are really excellent you should all have a personal copy of these books and read them for yourself apart from this introduction maharaj uh, also does this flagship program called the shri kshetra parikrama that is parikrama and the puri dham yatra really brilliant and uh, pre pandemic uh, we attended one of those uh, parikrama Uh, we had about 8000 devotees and uh, you know there were many multilingual devotees from various places they all you know got together and then you know it was an excellent program for 3 days and this year they did it and uh, his holiness jay patak swami maharaj was also present and about 14000 devotees attended this parikrama so this is gaining lot of uh, importance so next year when this program comes <coughs> maharaj is making plans to make a south india exclusive program so please make this opportunity thank you hari krishna so apart from that uh, maharaj also spearheading the iskon tribal preaching program this initiative currently is focusing mainly on the northeastern region um, in fact that was one of the conversations that been having in the car so there's lot of good success Uh, if we all give a supporting hand to maharaj in various capacities this program can become much more stronger and today the biggest problem we have is conversions and by taking care of this tribals very nicely with care and love and basic infrastructure <coughs> on education and things like that they will become great devotees in fact maharaj was sharing about uh, bengal he was saying that in bengal um uh, in the rural areas the least conversions are happening the reason is because the namahatta programs preaching in the village areas have really spread so strongly so now people are more and more aware not to get converted so this is a very important initiative iskon has done so like how maharaj is demonstrating the northeastern region the other regions in the country also must take such initiatives so we should play a role and assist maharaj in any of these great initiatives which will help us our country and our society thank you so much hari krishna hari krishna so today is gita jayanti that's why we will discuss from bhagavad gita as all of you know bhagavad gita is the essence of all vedic literature there are 18 chapters 
भगवत गीता इज पार्ट ऑफ महाभारत भीष्म पर्व फ्रॉम चैप्टर 25 फाइव टू समथिंग फोर्टी टू लाइक दैट एटीन चैप्टर्स एंड दीज आर द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल वैदिक लिटरेचर्स एंड द एसेंस ऑफ दिज एटीन चैप्टर्स आर फ्रॉम चैप्टर सेवेन टू ट्वेल्व मोस्ट एसेंस एंड द एसेंस ऑफ दिस सिक्स चैप्टर इज नाइन्थ चैप्टर राज विद्या राज गृहम पवित्र मिद्दम उत्तमम द एसेंस ऑफ नाइन्थ चैप्टर इज मन मना भव मत भक्त ओके सो दिस इज द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल वैदिक लिटरेचर सो भगवान कृष्ण गेव इन भगवत गीता थ्री काइंड्स ऑफ नॉलेज दैट इज कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज मोर कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज एंड मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज इज निष्काम कर्म एंड आत्मज्ञान मोर कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज इज नॉलेज अबाउट परमात्मा द मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल नॉलेज इज टू नो भगवान एंड सरेंडर एंड टू हिम सो थ्री काइंड्स ऑफ नॉलेज बीन गिवेन सो अमंग ऑल दिस चैप्टर्स द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट इज चैप्टर वन बिकॉज इफ चैप्टर वन इज नॉट अंडरस्टूड प्रपरली यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग इन सेम वे दैट यू आर सपोज टू अंडरस्टैंड सो विल फोकस ऑन चैप्टर वन व्हाट हैज बीन डिस्क्राइब्ड हियर संजय वाचिंग एंड बैटल फील्ड व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन एंड डिस्क्राइबिंग टू धुत राष्ट्र सो वेन एवरीथिंग इज रेडी the war will start then arjuna told krishna sena rubher madhya rat ratha sthapayit tumme achuta that i am to see kar maya sah jadavyam asmin rane samup upasthitam who is here to fight with me i am to see them then lord krishna that uh, he could take the chariot anywhere in between both groups of soldiers but he brought his chariot and kept placed in front of bhishma and drona and not only he, he kept the chariot then he point out hmm, he point out to arjun just see who are standing in front of you to fight bhishma drona pramukhata ah hmm. they are all bhishma drona they are all standing by seeing them <coughs> arjuna become very depressed and uh, he was completely lost what to do what not to do then he he expressed his feelings he was so much depressed and uh, and he expressed what was his feeling he said that my body is quivering and also that uh, my body is trembling my tongue is drying up my skin is burning my head is spinning and finally he said that my gandiva sanskrita hastat my gandhi vadhanus is falling from my head so in your life in everyone's life we have gone through this depression uh, and so much problems in our life so we have some experience when you go through depression then you have some experience so have we experienced any time like this that what arjuna went through that some situation you have faced body is tumbling your mouth drying up skin is burning something falling from your hand have you experienced like this that to that extent anybody has experienced i don't think so ha huh? so krishna 
he created one situation for arjun the the climax the extreme point of depression huh? that none of us we have experienced so then krishna spoke this knowledge to arjun what arjun said asti tasmi kat sandeh karishe vachanam tava nashta moh smutir labdha i am okay now now i am okay hmm. all my illusion moh has been gone so i have become perfect to work so by this <coughs> krishna wants to inform the whole world this is a literature knowledge not meant for hindus only because hindus are not going through this trouble everybody going through this trouble and this is about knowledge is meant to save you from this problem and he created a extreme situation for arjun if arjun being situated situated in such a extreme situation that symptoms is mentioning that we in our life have experienced some part of the symptoms when we go through problems so if this knowledge can solve <coughs> the problem of arjun who has experienced the extreme situation and definitely this knowledge will help in our life so in das bhagavad gita should not be regarded as a just a religious book meant for hindus so other community people should not feel allergic think oh this is hindu literature so they will be biggest loser in that way so that is one important part <coughs> so next point in this chapter is arjuna saying <coughs> the I, i will not fight and is bringing very nice arguments that how if i fight we fight then it will be sin for us he is saying kulakshay pranasanti kula dharma sanatana so there will be kulakshay all the great personalities of our family will die if kulakshay then there will be adharma that will dharma will be destroyed then the family ladies will be kulota bevichari hmm. loose character then the what will happen then varna sangar will take birth if varna sangar take will birth then what will happen then ancestors will not accept shraddha or pinda then they will go to hell so that's why this fight is not good this hinsa violence is not good was not arjun correct in this sense was not his stand was nice that i will not fight i should not do violent how i should i kill my family members no what is the use of this uh, victory so when sanjay was explaining this to dhritarashtra that arjuna doesn't want to fight <coughs> but krishna insisting him you fight you fight and dhritarashtra saying just see my arjun is so nice this krishna is badmas no he is teaching you to fight fight no? my arjun is so nice so from outwardly it will look arjun is really nice person no but actually he was wrong where he was wrong if you read the arguments arjun raised he is saying first king no rajan govind king bhogair jibite neva is concerned of the bhog bhog and tyag also he is mentioning here joy and parajay victory and defeat he is mentioning here that papam evo asrayet papo and punya so he is contemplating about the outcome of this battle what will happen and the result so these are the points what krishna is addressing insisting under thinking all these things what big mistake he is going to do 
he is refraining from his responsibility from his duty what he is supposed to do as a kshatriya supposed to fight but he is not fighting because he is meditating on the consequence of this fight result so that is the whole teaching that lord krishna trying to give that uh, how that uh, this is a dualities you should do your activities for sake of doing that should be done that's why the first thing is kartavya karma you should do your duty that's why you see all big big factories they write karma hi dharma work is worship correct or wrong correct or wrong work is worship no correct it is correct by doing work you are worshiping god how if you work according to instructions of god so you are abiding to his instruction so that is worship work is worship at that point when you work according to instruction of scriptures no shastra vidhan following the instruction not any work any duty any work is not worship you see when you worship according to instructions of krishna that means good because you are following his instruction that means you are devotee is it not it so that is not bad so krishna starts his instruction that is the basic instructions do your duty do your duty means do your duty according to instructions of scripture shastra so what is instruction of scriptures in regards to our duty what is the instructions of scriptures in regard to duty that you do your duty according to varna and ashram no brahman khatriya vaisya sudra brahmachari grihastha banaprastha sannyas so this is most important so krishna trying to tell arjun the most important is that you do your duty according to scripture you are kshatriya so that is dharma so do fight to fight is your dharma to become violent to do violence is your dharma you will not incur any sin because that is instruction of krishna that is instructions of god that instruction of scripture as a kshatriya you have to become violent so that is your dharma that's why he is saying so dharma nidhanasraya para dharma bhayabah according to your dharma you are supposed to be violent but you know violence is not good i want i should become like brahman no violence but even if in your dharma there are things with defects you should follow it because there is shastra instruction scriptural instruction by that you will not incur any sin so these are the three things that we have to observe uh, in bhagavad gita first chapter so towards the end of this bhagavad gita what are these final instruction in bhagavad gita what are the final instruction of krishna sarva dharman paritajya so krishna comes to this material world for what purpose why he comes here paritrana sadhana vinasa ja duskritam to establish dharma yes so krishna said i am god i have come i'll teach you about dharma i came to establish dharma right but towards the end so everybody come okay bhagavan has come what dharma so they are listening everything and at the end what krishna said what is the last you just said sarva dharman paritaja is it correct thing he, he should say, speak like this you just told that you have come to establish dharma 
But in conclusion, you are saying Sarva Dharma Paritejya. You want everybody to surrender you, that is good. Mamakam Sarana Braja. But you could have said Sarva Adharma Paritejya, Mamakam Sarana Braja. That would be better or not? Have you had any time, any Muni, Rishi, any Sadhu, your father or mother say, give up Dharma? It's a very unique word. So that is the secret, interesting part of teachings of Bhagavad Gita, that you have to explore. Why Krishna is saying, he could have told, give up adharma surrender to me, that is the best way, na? So problem is not within adharma, more problem is with dharma. It's very bewildering to you now, you are thinking, what is Maharaj is talking about? <laughs> Dharma is more bewildering than Adharma. <laughs> There's a Bhakti Vinod Thakur saying, Prithivite Jata Sab Dharma Na Me Chale, Bhagavate Kahe Sab Paripurna Chale. Whatever is going on in this world, in the name of Dharma, they're all Chala Dharma, cheating. And where the teachings of Bhagavate Gita ends, teachings of Bhagavatam starts there. Teachings of Bhagavate Gita ends, Sarva Dharman Paritejya. Give up all dharmas. What give up all dharma means? Give up Muslim dharma, Christian dharma, become Hindu. That is what Krishna said. No? Why not? You ask dharma means go outside people. Dharma means they know Hindu, Muslim, Christian. They know anything. This word dharma used for anything else. They know people will relate it. Where else this word dharma is used? Tell me. Dharma means Hindu, Muslim, Christian, everybody knows. Where else you know dharma is used? Huh? Varnasram dharma. Huh? Ah, yeah, Buddha, Christian, that is one concept. Dharma means Muslim, Christian, Buddha, Hindu. Another concept is Varnasram dharma. Huh? Raja dharma, praja dharma, mana dharma, deva dharma, okay. So another word dharma is used, but many people, they don't observe it. What is dharma of water? You say that? Liquidity and goes down. What is dharma of fire? So what do you call it then? Religion of fire? Dharma, if you say dharma is religion, so that is religion of the fire. To give heat and light is religion of fire. Fire religion. <laughs> so that is one word also used, dharma, which people they don't focus so much. <laughs> ah. So Bhagavad Gita speaks that Krishna wants to establish that dharma. That dharma. That something which separate, cannot be separated from the object. You cannot separate heat and f light from, uh, from fire. So, dharma of fire, dharma of water, so dharma of the spirit soul. Oh. So, Adurayji, in the name of dharma, whatever is going on, that's why Lord Krishna is saying. So, here, Arjuna explained, Kulakhaya pranasanti kula dharma sanatana dharma naste kulam krishnam adharma abhivaiti utu adharma abhivaiti krishna pradyusanti kulastriya stri sudhista subarsnaya jayante varna sankara sankara narakaiva kulagnan kulasacha all this kulaghataki and kula they will all go to naraka because the ancestors will not get the pinda tarpana. So that's why he is suggesting that uh, this kula dharma, jati dharma. Like Krishna told at the end, give up dharma. Why he said, Arjuna must have spoken something about dharma. Right? This is kula dharma, jati dharma. Or varnasram dharma. Varnasram dharma. You give up Bharnasram Dharma. Sarva Dharman Paritejya. 
But if that is the best knowledge, most confidential knowledge, Krishna could have told at the beginning. Bas ho gaya, right? Just drop everything, just simply surrender unto me. But we cannot do like that. So first he started his instruction saying, do your duty. That is Varna Sam Dharma. Do your duty. According to Varna and Ashram, do your duty. At least become a human being. If you do follow Varna Sam Dharma, where you will go? By following Varna Sam Dharma, where will you go? You go to upper planetary systems. Best Grihastha, go to Sarga. Best Brahmachari, go to Janalaka. Best Banaprastha, go to Maharlaka. The best Sannasi, go to Satyalaka. Is not it? Then Krishna said, first you do your duty, but duty will give you karma bandhana. Then he spoke about uh, Niskama Varnasram. Niskam karma. That you give result of your karma to Krishna. He did not say, he elaborately explained that uh, Niskama karma definition is according to Krishna. You don't uh, be worried for the result, don't be attached to the result, don't be cause of the result. This is what he said. He did not say, give it to me. He said, follow these things at least. You will see in Bhagavad Gita chapter 2, chapter 3, only one verse, each of only one verse Krishna has said, related to him. Uh. So in this way, Bhagavad Gita chapter 1 is very, very important. Three things you should understand from chapter 1. So one is the argument Arjuna is raising about dharma according to his understanding, how Krishna has refuted. Arjuna has said, if I fight, I'll go to hell. Everyone will go to hell. And second is, Arjuna mentioned his feelings, the extreme point of disappointment, depress, and by teachings of Gita, he was relieved from that. And third point is, Arjuna was attached to the result. He was worried about the result. Joy, parajay. Papa, punya. Things like this. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. These three things. Then, second chapter. What is the name of the second chapter? Sankhya Yoga. What is the meaning of Sankhya Yoga? Huh? Analytical story. You analyze something and go to the root. So Krishna, when Krishna and Arjun they are preparing for this battle, the turn, when Arjun was completely bewildered, then he said that Krishna, please, I am King Kartavimura, I don't know what to do, what not to do. I become a disciple. So until that, Krishna was not telling anything. Until Arjuna completely surrendered. I am completely bewildered about what to do, what not to do. That's why I am asking you. So by this, Krishna establishing that if somebody wants to achieve this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, what mood he should develop? So through Arjun, he established this. So what Arjuna said, I don't know. Now you tell me what to do. I am bewildered. But if we go to the teachers, oh, I know everything. Then what teacher will teach you? That is, he saying, Sishya Stam Sadhimang Tang Prapanna. I become your Sishya. What is Sishya means? Huh? What is disciple means? Be disciplined. He will make you disciplined. 
शिष्य कम्स फ्रम शासन इन शासन रूलिंग वी शुड बी रूल्ड बाई अवर स्पिरिचुअल मस्टर्स शिष्य मीन्स बी रूल्ड बी रेडी टू बी चेस्टाइज बट वन यू आर चेस्टाइज बाई अवर गुरु वी फील एनकरेज और डिस्करेज नो 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 गुरु मार से लाइक दिस इफ यू गुरु से हाउ नाइस यू आर पैटिंग बिहाइंड हाउ फील वेरी एनकरेज बट दैट इज नॉट द प्रिंसिपल कृष्णा एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट प्रिंसिपल दैट यू बी प्रिपेयर टू बी चेस्टाइज गिव फुल फ्रीडम to guru you chastise me but guru is scared if he chastise too much he will go away run away how my temple will run walk up hot every do stay here then how guru will reveal the knowledge to you so asunas arjun surrendered then krishna chastised kutastam kasmalam idam ha bisama samupastam krishna said ha krishna told him that you are talking like a great pandit and kata suno kata suno nanu sachit pandit ha but pandit they don't ah uh, lament for these things so krishna told three things to arjun so bhagavad gita chapter 2 is the longest one of the longest chapter sankhya yoga but in that chapter two yoga has been spoken हाफ स्पीक्स अबाउट सांख्य जग हाफ स्पीक्स अबाउट बुद्धि जग हाफ बुद्धि जग थ्रू सांख्य जग कृष्ण एक्सप्लेनिंग आत्मज्ञान द नलेज अबाउट दि सेल्फ एंड थ्रू बुद्धि जग हूँ इज निष्काम कर्म जग दैट इज द पाथ प्रोसेस टू अंडरस्टैंड आत्मज्ञान टू रियली अंडरस्टैंड आत्मज्ञान All of you have Atma Jnana. Yes or no? You know I am not this body. I am Atma. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. You you know you have memorized. You have read in book. Have you really know these things? In Mayapur, we had one new or new book. The director was there. And one Brahmachari, he became mad. No, sometimes he became mad. We were trying to cure him. But even if he is mad, he is a devotee. No, some knowledge of Atma is there. So that new bhakt in charge was drying his cloth on the roof of the building of Chakra building. So this mad, uh, mad Brahmachari came. Oh, Murari, the Prabhu, who are you? Then he said, "I am spirit soul." You are spirit soul, and that boy was very healthy boy. He picked him up that Brahmachari. Okay, I will throw him from this. Roof of this building. Oh, no, no, no! Don't do this. He is your spirit soul. <laughs> so our understanding, I'm reading the book that I'm spirit soul is different. But to really realize I'm spirit soul, the process Krishna has given that is niskam karma. You understand? So this chapter second chapter is divided in two persons. One is sankhya yoga and another is a buddhi yoga. बुद्धि जोग दैट इज ऑल्सो अनदर बिल्डिंग ये बुद्धि जोग निष्काम कर्म जोग एंड भक्ति जोग इट इज देयर अंडर द फर्स्ट सेक्शन सांख्य जोग दैट डील्स ऑन थ्री मैटर्स कृष्ण टेलिंग अर्जुन दैट अर्जुन व्हाट आर यू स्पीकिंग लाइक ए ग्रेट पंडित बट एक्चुअली दैट इज अनार्ज जुष्टम अस्वर्गम एंड अकीर्ति के कर्म थ्री थिंग्स ही पॉइंटेड आउट what you are saying that you will not fight that statement is based upon anarjya anarjya means who doesn't know the value of the life who doesn't have atma gyana so to address that issue lord krishna spoke about atma what is atma he spoke anarjya justam aswargyam what you are talking about that will not lead you to swarga rather it is opposite if you fight that will lead you to swarga that will lead you to swarga shastra says that khatriyas if they die on the battlefield swarga dwaram apabritam or that asking is standing next to you door is open and especially if you die on the battlefield of kurukshetra that place is blessed 
whoever will die will go to heaven the kuru raja the king kuru was plowing that field big track of land about 100 200 kilometers from hastinapur he was plowing then indra came indra asked what are you doing that i am plowing this land that whoever will die here will straight go to heaven indra laughed at him hey what are nonsense talking about at to go to heaven there is a process you have to follow it follow dharma you have to do punya then you go to heaven and just applying this field and people will go to heaven N- never that will happen just forget it indra left but king kuru <coughs> still continuing applying and applying again indra came back the what are you doing still are applying why are you wasting your time it will never happen again he went back but still is applying the land very determined <laughs> then finally some demigods went and told indra to uh, fulfill his desire this fellow was stubborn obstinate fulfill his desire then indra came and indra said okay uh, you are very determined to fulfill your desire i bless this track of land that whoever will die here and specially in the battlefield while is fighting definitely will go to heaven so krishna he refuted arjuna's argument that if i fight i'll go to hell no if you fight you'll go to heaven so first was anarja justam anarja second was aswargya and third was akirtikaram hmm that if you don't fight you'll run away people learn so oh, arjun such a kind hearted person such a nice sadhu baba they'll say like that Yeah. they will be blasphemy you those they are glorifying so much they will criticize you and for a prestigious person this is worse than death so akriti karam so very nicely with logic krishna proved the arjun your decision not to fight which is your duty that is according to varna and ashram so you should not avoid this fighting so in this way, krishna established that work is worship duty do your duty hmm. many people when we go to preach to young children the parents become very upset at least in bengal or is i see they become very upset they think if my son will read the gita he will become baba ji sanyasi no 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 uh, he is too young uh, now he should not do dharma when he become old he will do dharma that is a concept among the hindus right uh, when you become old then you become dharma uh, you, you do dharma they are very afraid of uh, teaching gita and special after iskan come people are more afraid of uh, reading gita then iskan people they teach gita means they all become baba ji no sanyasi but that is not true that is not true krishna taught bhagavad gita to whom arjun so after hearing bhagavad gita he took sannyas he took sannyas before hearing bhagavad gita he told arjun i'll take sannyas is not it he told i'll beg i'll go to forest i am not going to do this work but after hearing no 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 i'll do my service now so why the parents they don't understand why they are so scared huh? so bhagavad gita gives the knowledge about duty kartavya bodh the sense of duty that is very very important but as i told what is the missing point the sense of duty that people they define the, as duty ha huh? account the scripture that they forget whatever you do that is duty i am stealing is my duty bin laden was terrorist is my duty everybody can claim the duty but according to scripture according to varna and ashram is to follow hmm. so that is important thing then krishna said that you do your duty but for what na jagyarthat karma na anyatra lokayam karma bandhana so do your duty the two kinds of duty you do papa karma or punya karma is not it papa or punya either whatever you do it will come either papa or 
punna. So papa is good or punna is good? Huh? Both are good. Both are bad? Pun punna also bad? No, punna is better than papa. Punna is better. Life should start with punna. Life should not start with papa. That's why Krishna said, you start your life with Varnasrama, with dharma. Huh? Come from adharma to dharma. But then he mentioned that is also cause of your bondage. That only Iskand people know. Isn't it? Everybody say, don't do adharma, do dharma. Don't do papa, do punya. Only Iskand people say, don't do papa, don't do punya. Isn't it? Nobody outside people will say that. Krishna only taught that. But nobody cares that. If you outside all Hindus, they read Gita. Isn't it? They all read Gita. But nobody could cast that. Only Prabhupada pointed out this thing to us. Ah. But Krishna's intention is to establish dharma. But he's saying, give up all dharmas. Because this dharma, this punya is the cause of her bondage. Ah. with the dharma nama jata khaji chale, bhagavata kahesap, paripurna chale. Dharma prajita, kaitavattar paramani mashtarang satta. Dharma prajita. People are doing dharma. By doing dharma, what do you get? What for people are doing dharma? Five big, big lines there in Tirupati, Baba. Eight, eight hours, one day standing in line out of love for Tirupati, Baba. You do dharma to get some artha. Isn't it? By doing dharma, you get artha. So when you get artha, economic development, what do you do? You run to Iskan to donate to Iskan. Or you run to Big Bazaar. There's Big Bazaar in, in, in Bangalore. Uh -huh. you run, then Kama. Dharma, Artha, Kama. But Kama is such a thing, you'll never be satiated. No Jato Kama, Kama, Nupavagyan, Samyate. So then, okay, Moksha. I need Moksha. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. So Shastra says, you want sense gratification? Do it by dharma. Don't do adharma. It's good. Dharma, artha, kama, moksha. So out of this four, what is the best? Dharma, artha, kama, moksha. What is the best? Out of this four, what is best? Moksha. Is not it? You go outside people, anybody ask. At least they have moksha. I want moksha. At least some good people will say this. Normal people, they don't know what is moksha. But good people, they will say, moksha is the best. Isn't it? it? Dharma, artha is here. It's material, moksha is good. Spiritual, I get liberation. Is good? Yes or no? But uh, actually, moksha, one is the worst one out of this four. Whole world thing, dharma is good, adharma is bad. But Gita says, Dhar adharma is bad, dharma is bad. And whole world say, Mokha is the topmost. But Shastra says, Mokha is the worst one out of this four. Ajnana tamare naam kahiya kaitava Dharma artha kama mokha vancha adisava Dharma, dharma artha kama mokha dar ajnana Cheating, kaitava. Uh, the darkness, ignorance. Dharma artha kama mokha, all four. Tār madhya mokhya vāncha kaitava pradhan. Desire for liberation is the, the topmost sitting one. Why? Dharma artha kama, they are cheating. Is not it? Because sense gratification. I want to enjoy my life. They are cheating. Liberation? You become one with God. Brahma Jyoti? Why that is cheating? Here, sense gratification is cheating. But you get liberation, merge with God, why that is cheating? Uh? So what? But he becomes free from desire of enjoyment. Prabhupada is saying, actually, those people that are desiring for liberation, they are the greater sense gratifier than the normal people. 
so normal people they are trying to enjoy the sense gratification they are small small way the mukti kam is they are thinking these are small things we become one with the god so we can enjoy more there <laughs> so the prabhu was saying like this pointing out the defect external they say we are free from sense gratification we just want to get liberation mukti but the desire to merge with brahma jyoti behind in inner mood is so that we can en- these are all small small sense gratification we can enjoy like god also so that's why this cheating dharma <coughs> prajita kaitava this is cheating so all these things subtle things are there people in general they don't understand so her gita ends uh, sarva dharman paritajya the bhagavat starts from there that is dharma prajita this kind of dharma dharma sai apavarga sa nartha artha upakalpate the real dharma purpose of real dharma <coughs> is not artha but beda vedanta upanishad they all teach dharma artha kama mukhe chari purushartha the purushartha is not it ha uh, purushartha uh. but bhagavat speaks panchama purushartha prema pumart mahan shri chaitanya mahaprabhu matam idam tatra daru na parah what is panchama purushartha that is krishna prem hmm. prem bhakti so one should read bhagavad gita the purpose of reading bhagavad gita is to understand krishna is the god and surrender unto him then you start bhagavatam what the first line of bhagavatam says ha huh? what prior to that ha ah. om namo bhagavate vasudeva what does that mean that i accept son of vasudev krishna is bhagavan then only you can read bhagavatam but mayavadis they will not say om namo bhagavate vasudevaya they will not say that what they say you know anybody knows you read gorakhpur gita there you don't see om namo bhagavate vasudevaya you say om parmatmane namaha om parmatmane namaha they say gita is not spoken by krishna is spoken by paramatma within krishna they say parama krishna no they don't want to surrender to krishna na they don't want to surrender to krishna they are very allergic to krishna paramatma okay but not krishna but they don't know there is no paramatma within krishna ha huh? no in spiritual world there is no paramatma concept of parmatma is only in this material world but they have their ideas It's like this there are so many subtle things what makes our life more difficult that is sometimes i find those that are nastic they don't accept god they are very peaceful happy life do they accept god their life is more miserable <laughs> right the nastics are more problem okay i accept god somebody say nirakar somebody say sakar somebody say all demigods are god no no baba your father mother are god somebody say, no no everybody is god so what to do now so that's why i observe muslim christian sudhis they are not that much confused as much as hindus are confused hindus are the most confused community uh, about god so that's why it is very very important hmm to analyze all this knowledge following the footsteps of previous acharyas from simple point of consideration we can see ourselves there are so many misconceptions we had before we come in contact with this gita right from our own experience we know ha huh? so many things we, we are not considering christian means you follow bible A muslim means follow quran hindu follow gita but gita say whatever you eat you offer to krishna offer to god how many hindu they do that they do that this i am hindu you follow gita yes yes i follow and the karma hi dharma do you offer to god whatever you eat or no somebody yes yes i offer whatever i eat in bengal a very big personality renowned personality but he used to show that he is great boy snobs but he has a drunkard 
you should drink. But he will not drink wine without putting tulasi leaves. You have to offer fast. <laughs> yeah, and very proudly he would say, I, I don't touch wine without putting tulasi leaves. He is very proud. And whole Bengal is glorifying. So see, this person, such a great man. It's like this misconceptions. No. Gojamil, Prabhupada saying Gojamil. No. He's there. No. Krishna has told, whatever you eat, you offer to me. But they don't understand. Then Prabhupada pointed out what Krishna eats. Patrang puspang phalang toyang. Give me patrang puspang phalang toyang. But what we are doing? Patrang puspang maschang madhyang. Then what will happen? So who pointed out all these things? Prabhupada pointed out, no. I have been reading Gita from my childhood. But I, all these things I never huh, realized. So Prabhupada, hmm, many basic things he has taught, so many deeper things that we still, still we have not understood. Still you have not understood. You will understand all these things. And if you read Prabhupada's uh, books uh, nicely, that what you have not understood, I will tell you, I will take another few minutes to point out that how, though you have, we are reading Gita, still many things we have not understood in Bhagavata Gita. So where is that? Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is Karma, uh, karma Yoga, no? Where is that verse uh, where Krishna, uh, Arjuna asking Athakyana Prajuktam Papam Charity Purusha? No, no, not that one. Uh, Arjuna asking, Krishna told about Vebasatmaka Buddhi, Achala Buddhi, Buddhi Yoga. So Arjuna asking, Stita Pragyansa Kavhasa. Okay. Uh, that, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, this is a 2.54. 2.54 says, Arjuna asking, Krishna, stita pragyansa kavhasa, samadhitasta kesavya, stita di kim prabhasat, kim asit, kim brajat kim. Okay? So that means, Arjun asking, what is the symptom of one who is conscious is merged in transcendence or stita pragyam? What is the symptom? Kavhasa. What is bhasa means? What do you know bhasa means? Language, no? So he is saying what? what Sita Pragya, in which language they speak? Bengali, Kannada, English? Huh? What you are saying Sita Pragya means? Huh? What is the symptoms? What is the quality? So why is writing what is quality, what is symptom? Arjuna asking what language he speaks? Ka bhasa. But our Acharya is describing. That means he is saying, please describe. Bhasa means description. You describe through Bhasa, no? Describe. So, how will you understand it by reading Gita unless we go through uh, meaning and descriptions? The next he is saying, how does he speak? What is language? How he sits? How he walks? How he speaks? He speaks fluent. Or he, he speaks he, no, slow. How he sits in Padmasan, in Jogasan, or stretch his hair leg sitting like this. Stita Pragya means must be sitting with Padmasan. How he walks? He walks very fast. He walks like a lame man. That is what we understood. Then we'll search what Krishna answers he is giving. Then he's saying some prajahati, jadha kama, something hot, nothing to do with this. Huh? 
he is telling that uh, um, Dukkhasu Anudvigna Manha, Sukhasu Bhigata Spriha, Bitaraga Bhaya Krodha. What that has to do with these questions? He is asking you uh, what is language, how he sits, how he walks, how he talks, and you are doing something else. No? But then Prabhupada points out, or Acharya is pointing out, what he speaks. What he speaks means when he is in problem, when he is giving hardship, how he speaks. Oh, this man is giving me trouble. He is nonsense. He speaks like this. Does he speak like this? Stita Pragya. He speaks, oh, this is my Praradha Karma. This is this, how he speaks. This is my Praradha Karma. Every verse by verse, Krishna explaining. And what he does not speak? Huh? He does not speak. Huh? Or oh, because of you, I am suffering. I curse you. He does not speak like this. Then how 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 he speaks? How do, what does he speak? If he then Krishna, he is mentioning. If somebody will do good service to me, I am a sthita pragya. I am not sthita pragya. You are doing very good service to me. You are giving good donation to me. Oh Maharaj, please take ten thousand donation. What shall I do? What shall I do immediately? How I will respond to you? Huh? Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. But Sita Pragya will not speak like this. Sita Pragya will not speak like this. And somebody does not offer obeisances to you. I am Brahman initiated. You do not offer me obeisances. You are Harinam initiated. Sita Pragya will not. This is what talking about here. So who will point out all these things to us? We will be searching. How he sits? Krishna is not. How he speaks? Huh? How he sits? That also Krishna explains here. <laughs> Uh, Kim Asit, how he sits, that means how he gives his senses trouble, uh, how he gives that art, how he walks, how he walks means how he allows his senses to move forward. All these things are given. So we are thinking we will learn Bhagavad Gita. More we will read Prabhupada's purport, more we will learn. More will explore. So that's why Bhagavad Gita teaching should not remain in books only. Hmm. That should be understood. That's why in Bengal we have started Gita correspondence course. Last 25 years, thousands of people joining Gita correspondence course. As they are very fascinated, no? They will get certificate, read books, course. <laughs> so about 40,000 people, Bang Bang Bangali people have joined. And Bengali people are very much attached to Ram Krishna Paramahansa. And Ram Krishna Paramahansa, Jata Mat Tata Pat. Whatever you like, you do. So when they come to us, if you say anything against Ram Krishna Paramahansa, means we are finished. <laughs> we don't tell all these things. We tell what Krishna has said. What Krishna has said? The one Mat and one Pat. Sarva Dharman Paritejam Mamekam Saranam Braja. Then they realize, oh really, Krishna said like this. But Ram Krishna said, Jata Mat Tata Pat. Then they drop that, then they surrender to Krishna. In this way, thousands of people, uh, they are taking initiation now, become free from this misconception. We have this Gita correspondence course. Then when they learn this, we tell them, you open Gita study circle. So they have opened Gita study circle. So these unique things, teachings, that usually people, they don't find in Gita, what Prabhupada has pointed out, then they, they tell to their people. Then more people they join. More people they join. So Gita study circles, then Gita centers. Then we are opening Gita college. Mm. Gita college means you come and stay here and you learn Vigyana, Jnana Vigyana. Through correspondence course, you get Jnana. By staying here, you get a Vigyana. Seven days course, one month course, one year course, three years course. And if somebody learns Gita, understands Gita, no other literature he has to study. Ki man hai Shastra Vistarai, right? Gita Mahatma saying, there is no use of reading so many scriptures. And if somebody has not studied Gita, and developed so much spiritual devotional life, 
Gita is foundation. If foundation is not strong, you build a big building, what will happen? It will collapse. So that important it is. So today is the appearance day of Bhagavad Gita. We are all fallen into this Bhava Kupa, the oil of material existence. How can one get out of well if somebody will give a rope from the top? So Lord Krishna has given us this rope of knowledge of Bhagavad Gita so that we can be delivered. If Krishna gives this rope of Bhagavad Gita, we will be delivered. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. No. If Krishna gives, we will not be delivered. We will be delivered if we hold it. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. No. You may hold, if you hold it lightly, we will fall down. Krishna cannot do anything. Right? You would hold it strongly. Then only Krishna can help us. Isn't that it? Otherwise Krishna can't help us. So we have to help. You have to hold this rope. And strongly hold this rope. And you have to understand uh, the unique knowledge given here. The importance of this knowledge. Not sentimentally, uh, just doing some dharma, dharma like that. So Prabhupada, we are blessed that we have uh, come in uh, contact with Prabhupada. So all this secret of knowledge has been revealed to all of us. Yes, Prabhupada, ki. any questions? What I spoke to you? Because I spoke many contradictory things. <laughs> yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, in second chapter, Gita, 16th verse, Nasato Vidyate Bhav, second paragraph, Prabhupada says there, this is the beginning of spiritual life. <coughs> so I was just I wanted to know your understanding on the purport, why he says this is the beginning of the instruction of the Lord to the living entities who are bewildered by influence of ignorance. Why, why, why he's saying in 16th verse, why 11th verse was not the beginning of the instruction of the removal of ignorance, Dehi no Asmin Yata Dehi Natvam. So what is your understanding? I, I don't know whether purport? he's talking about this verse or he's saying about the overall concept of Atma Jnana. Okay. The first step of self-realization is to know who am I. So in that sense, uh, this verse is very particularly saying that uh, astai thinks doesn't have a astai uh, This body is not eternal, atma is eternal. So he's point out to understand that concept, that is the first step of self-realization. So maybe he's making point to that like that. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, one. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Tandavat Pranam. <coughs> uh, so, if uh, if a devotee he chants his sixteen round, if a devotee he chants his sixteen rounds daily, uh, <coughs> and he is following all the instructions of Bhagavad Gita, he is offering food, everything he is doing. But he is, if he is attracted to other forms of the Lord, like Lord Narsimha, Lord Jagannatha. Suppose if a devotee is more attracted to Lord Narsimha after, chant, after following all the regulative principles and doing everything uh, prescribed by uh, Lord Chaitanya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, where, wh what does his destination lead to? Whether he goes to uh, spiritual world or will he go to the place where the Narsimha Leela <coughs> is being performed? Where Narsimha Leela is performed? These are Nitya Leelas, right? But in spiritual world, nursing of them must be there. Spiritual okay. world. So in Goloka, is, there we see only Lord But there Krishna. are millions of Vaikunthas and thousands, millions of uh, different Bhagavat Swarup, Rama, the Murti Sakala, Niyamana, Tishtan. So if you are worshipping Rama, you will go to Rama. You go to Narayana, you go to Narayana. Go to Narasinga, go to Narasinga. So wherever you develop more attachment, but uh, if you are worshipping Narasimha, just to give some material purpose, your material purpose will be fulfilled. If you are really attached to Narasimha without material purpose, then you will go to Narasimha Loka. But you are praying Narasimha, understanding this is another aspect of Lord Krishna. Please bless me, remove all obstacles in my devotion to Krishna. Then Narasimha form will do that. Then you go to Krishna Loka. 
So you hear Narasimha Lila, you hear Ram Lila, you hear Vishnu Lila, you hear Krishna Lila. Whichever pastimes attracts you, you fall in love with whichever Bhagavat Swarup, accordingly you will go there. Okay? Thank you, Maharaj. Mm-hmm. That's why, of course, not for us. That's why Raghunath Das Kosham, somebody saying, be very, very careful. Uh, if you go to Baikuntha, there is so much Aishwarya, you will get stuck there. No, you cannot move forward. Of course, for us, Baikuntha is rare also. <laughs> we have no hope whether we will go to Baikuntha or not. <laughs> but for that kind of devotee, they say, don't fall in love with Narayan. <laughs> then you are way back to Golak Vindavan and stop. <laughs> it's like that also. <laughs> okay? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Huh? Maharaj, just one question. Uh, one of the, the points when Arjuna uh, says, I, wa- I want to be a disciple, and you made a point that the first the quality that one can understand Bhagavad Gita or even get towards that is surrender. But how do we get to that uh, stage, Maharaj? How that do surrender. We? One of the qualities, surrender to the to the teacher. So how Arjuna did. How do we get to that stage, Maharaj? How to get? That depend upon you. But to get that stage means you follow strictly the order of your spiritual master. On that level, you be always ready to be chastised by your spiritual master. So that level means you realize that you are number one fool. To understand number one fool. Prabhupada gave an example in this regard. That surrendered means, disciple means you should feel full in front of your guru. He said two boys went to learn harmonium to one teacher. Swan so boy asked the teacher, how long I, it will take for me to learn? Teacher asked, do you know anything about harmonium? He said, yes, yes, I know something. Then teacher said, it will take one year for you to learn. Other boy, he asked, how long I will take? You know anything? No, I don't know anything. Then student think, I will take it in two years maybe. But teacher said, you will, six months you will learn everything. Then this boy who learned something, he asked, how is that possible? I know, no, I will take one year. <coughs> he doesn't know, he will take six months. And teacher said, yes, because you know something, six months will take for me to make forget all those things. Then I can impart this knowledge. But this fellow, he doesn't know anything. Clean slate, so I can put. So when you go to Guru, you should go with that mood. That I am full. <coughs> then Prabhupada gave a warning that yes, you feel you are like a fool, but don't act like a fool. Then Guru will be in a big problem. <laughs> you, you feel you are a fool, but you act like an intelligent person. You don't act like a fool. <laughs> so that is a different thing, see. And how you become more sincere? In my understanding, you will become more sincere automatically if you understand your sufferings in this material world. Our main problem is we don't recognize our sufferings. And that is the best thing that Maya is doing to us. That we are suffering, but make us to forget our suffering. No. With that we can... And, and mercy of God means His mercy for us to recognize sufferings. Because Maya's main business is to make us forget our suffering. Make us not understanding our suffering. Daviyasa gunamaya mamaya durataya. My Maya is very difficult to overcome. What is that? Maya always makes people to understand, wherever you are, you are very happy. Even if it's stool, you are very happy. Yes or no? Who eats stool and become happy? Who becomes very happy by eating stool? Pigs? You will become happy to eat stool? Yes or no? No? Sometime you are happy by eating stool? Yes or no? Sometimes you are happy? No, never. Sometimes you are a pig or not. Each of us were pig one time. Because Chavrasi Lakha, 84 mil, huh? one time we were a pig. We liked very much that breakfast. But today this body we don't like maybe. <laughs> but Maya makes us to forget. No, forget. So we pray, Krishna, please, make us to understand my sufferings. Huh? That is the biggest problem. That is why Krishna is saying, the knowledge means to understand your suffering. Right? What is that verse? 
Janma Murta Jarabadi? Uh, that is saying, he is giving definition of knowledge. What is jnana? Jnana means to understand your suffering. That is jnana. <laughs> See, like that. Jasla Prabhupada ki, Samvad Bhakta Vrinda ki, Gaur Pramanande. So, I have some nursing oil for you. So, this is your nursing office oil. So, you can put smell, put on your head. Hare Krishna. So, we are very fortunate to have the association of His Holiness Bhakti Purushottam Swami Maharaj on the auspicious occasion of Gita Jayanti. So, we are for very fortunate to hear from Maharaj. Let us express our gratitude to His Holiness Bhakti Purushottam Swami Maharaj by chanting Hare Krishna Mantra once. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Few announcements are there, then after that you can come ahead and uh, take the uh, uh, the Narsim oil from Maharaj. So tomorrow morning, uh, we request devotees to kindly be seated for two minutes. So tomorrow morning, the Bhagavatam class uh, at 8 o'clock, please note, it will be at 8 o'clock, will be given by His Grace Gauranga Prabhu. This is the fourth uh, lecture in the series of lessons from Bhagavad Gita, which Prabhuji is doing. So tomorrow morning will be the last. And again, hoping and praying that we'll get the association of Maharaj. Maharaj will be there till Wednesday. We are hoping that uh, we'll try to get Maharaj association on Tuesday. We are trying to work out. We'll inform uh, if there's any possibility of the further this one. Also, today being the Gita Jayanti, the most auspicious day, I want to ask uh, all the devotees who are present here, is there anybody who doesn't have personal Bhagavad Gita copy with you? If you can raise your hand. Jin ke paas personal Bhagavad Gita copy nahi hai. Okay, those who don't have, it's a very auspicious day, please have a copy of Bhagavad Gita and uh, you may take the signature from Maharaj. And all others, those who didn't raise the hand, that means all of you have Bhagavad Gita, and all of you are fortunate and all of you have understood how valuable the Bhagavad Gita is. So now it is the turn to make others fortunate. So at least on this auspicious day, all of you can take at least one Bhagavad Gita and gift it to someone to make others fortunate. And not only one, at least you can take more also. And if any of you want to uh, sponsor Bhagavad Gita, so you can contact our uh, Rukmini Ranga Krishna Prabhu. So, I am requesting the BBT to keep almost around 150 devotees are there because all of you are fortunate. So, all of you will be taking one one Bhagavad Gita, they are keeping it ready at the counter. So, while going, please take one one Bhagavad Gita and distribute it. So, thank you very much. So, now devotees can come ahead and please we request all the devotees to kindly come one by one, otherwise, it will be difficult for Maharaj. <laughs>